Welcome Gunners, this is my first quarter of 2013 EDC update. I'm um, not sure if I'll do one every quarter or not. Uh, it depends on if I get anything that is really worth updating, I guess. Uh, but I, I made quite a few changes, so I figured it was worth talking about. Um, so the first thing you may notice here is it's a different pistol. So here I have a new Kimber. This is the Kimber Desert Warrior. Um, chambered in 45 ACP and it has the Surefire X300 on it which was previously on my uh, Go Bag um, M&P so I'll have to get another X300 at some point but for now it will likely remain on this gun since this will be my everyday carry uh, I've been carrying it for about a week or so now um, so I definitely like it the only thing I want to change out is Change out the mainspring housing here to be an arched mainspring housing with a magwell. Uh, unfortunately, they were on back order when I got this. So I'm on a list, and hopefully I'll have one someday soon. But, um, yeah, I don't know what it is. Something about this angle of this grip here is pretty rough on my hands, and I really don't enjoy shooting it for very long durations of time. So hopefully I'll get the arched mainspring housing soon. Um, to jump around here, I've just got a regular pen, nothing special. Um, chapstick, truck keys, a uh, little bit of paracord on there still. Regular wallet, nothing special. Um, Galco, Galco uh, mag carrier, pretty much same mags as last time, um, which are the Cobra TRIPP, Trip Research, Cobra mags. Uh, so those are still nice, haven't had any issues with them. Um, in my Leatherman carrier here, I have a bunch of tool bits that I just keep on there. Haven't had to use them too many times, but they have come in handy. Um, my Exotac fire starter, have yet to have to use this one. I've tested the one that I have in my go bag and it works really well. Uh, I've got my Charge Leatherman or Leatherman Charge TTI. Um, Pretty much exactly like the Wave, with just a couple small changes. Um, but I have this as my everyday carry. Uh, I've got a Fossil Watch, same as last time, not really sure model or anything like that. Same piece of paracord as last time. Um, Surefire E2L Outdoorsman. Pretty decent flashlight, has a super long battery life, which is why I chose that one. Uh, this will probably get thrown in my go bag in the near future when I can get another surefire light I'll probably swap this one out for a different one um, but I do like this one still I've just beat it up quite a bit um, we've got a new holster here obviously and this is actually from TCB holsters um, it's a guy I met in Phoenix actually pretty close to where I live um, so I had him make me a custom holster to fit this Kimber here since it's kind of difficult to come by one there are other companies obviously that make holsters with a similar design to this um, Raven concealment Bravo concealment that kind of thing um, I ordered a holster from Bravo concealment for my M&P with an X300 and they still have not made it it's, I'm still on a waiting list uh, I'm pretty sure I've been on a waiting list for like two months or so um, so it's rough, but I mean, I guess that's just the way the business goes. If, if you got a product that everyone wants and they know about you, they're going to have a pretty big demand and a long wait period. However, this guy um, actually cranked out my holster in less, like, less than a week. So I was really, really excited about that. Um, definitely like this holster so far from what I've seen of it. Have a couple different belt, loops, belt loop options. Um, since I concealed carry a lot more than I open carry, I went with these soft loops here. Um, I can change them out for open carry, like if I'm running plates or something like that. And I may do that from time to time, but uh, I like the concealed carry setup the most. So again, that was TCB Holsters. Jason, awesome guy. Um, what did I not show here? We've got the same knife as last time. Benchmade Osborne Barrage with a Tonto blade. Still is just as awesome as last time. Still like it. Um, and then another update here is a Wilderness Tactical uh, belt. Let's see if I can get any of the details here. 
So it's made in the USA. Uh, it's actually made in Arizona, which was one of the selling points for me. And from what I see of this belt so, so far, I definitely like it. It's definitely very rigid. Slightly difficult to get into your belt loops just because it is so rigid. But uh, once it's on there, it prevents your gear from kind of sagging to one side or the other. Uh, so definitely a really nice upgrade. I'm glad that I listened to Jason on that one. And uh, that is it for my EDC update. If I do any uh, big changes in the future, I will definitely do another video. Um, for now, take care. And uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. I will answer the best I can. Gunner out.